Hello everyone, it's me JB from Unique Tutorials. Today, in this video, I will show you unique and compact size digital camera for bloggers and content creators. So, without any further delay, let's begin. So, right now you can see here the digital camera which I'm gonna show you is the Canon PowerShot B10. So, this is the box you're gonna get when you purchase this camera. So, inside the box, what you're gonna get is so these are the things you're gonna get inside the box. So on the left side is the Canon PowerShot B10 and next to it is a type C to type C cable. So you can see here it's a type C to type C cable as you can see here. And next to it is a wrist strip. You can just attach it to your camera. And then the last one is the booklet where it contains some warranty also. So you can see here it's providing a two years of warranty once you register to able the two years warranty. So these are the things you're gonna get inside the box. So now let me give you a quick overview about this camera. So on the front side you can see this is the camera lens which is a 6.6 millimeter and f 2.8 so which is equivalent to 19 millimeter full frame equivalent and you can see a record button on the front side and on the above you can see two stereo microphones so you can see here so the microphones two stereo microphones and at the bottom you will see here you know, tripod mount and here you can see to attach the wrist strip and here you can see one slot which is for the micro SD card so I've already inserted a micro SD card as you can see here and behind you can see a screen 2 inch size screen as you can see and just to the bottom you can see this one is the power button and at the bottom is the playback button and here is a delete or timer button and here is a quick button and below it is a information and here is a shortcut button and bottom to it is a menu and even you can flip the screen so you can flip it like this and you can plug it and press this record button in order to record and the one very unique thing is that it has a inbuilt stand so you can see here you can just put it whichever you like or you can just tilt it this way also to record suppose some contents and here is a type c charging port and on the left side you can see here micro hdmi and a 3.5 audio jack input so these are the complete overview of this camera and in order to power on this camera just press this power on button so you can see here it's power on and now just press this info and now you can see here one video icon so right now it's in the video mode so if you want to change it to the photo mode just tap on this and you can see a camera icon just tap on it now it will be choose to photo mode and if you want to take a photo then you need to click on this record button in order to take a photo so let me show you so let me take a photo so you can see here it's a taking a photo and you want to see the preview then you can just click on this playback button you can see here and if you want to change back to the video mode just tap on this camera icon again and just select this video option now it will be moved back to the video option and at the bottom you will see a tons of option smooth skin and next to it is a movie image stabilization mode and the manual mode also there if you want to record using a manual mode so i'll just keep it in the auto mode and this camera has a inbuilt anti filter also so in order to enable the anti filter you need to click on this menu and just select this camera icon and just move to this option too and you can see here and the filter you need to turn on so you can see here option auto and on so i'll just keep it off right now so this anti-filter is not enabled by default so you need to go to the menu in order to turn on this anti-filter and if you want to access a tons of functions whilst you are recording video then you can just press this shortcut button just press and hold and now you can see tons of options you can customize depending upon your needs so if you want to quickly access autofocus then just select the autofocus and you can see a set click on ok now if you just click once on this shortcut button you can see the autofocus is enabled and disabled so if you want to customize it again just press and hold now select depending upon your which option you want to enable while you're pressing this button so this is all about the shortcut button and now if you want to set a timer then you can just press this button this is the up button just press it once now you can see the timer you can select the respective timer depending upon your needs and you can record it using this on-screen record button or you can just use your front side record button from here also you can record in order to record and you can see here a rate indication which shows that it is recording so it's very handy it's showing up blinking that means it's recording right now and once you press on this recording button again then now it gets stopped and in order to playback just press this playback button and you can just play it from here depending upon your needs and if you want to turn off then just press this power button just once now it will get up 
So, in my opinion, it's a unique and compact sized digital camera for bloggers and content creators that you should definitely check it out by yourself. So, if you find this video tutorial useful, please click on the thumbs like button and if you're new to our channel, click on the subscribe button and lastly, thanks for watching.